Welcome to the Linda's Real Deal Talk Show. I am so excited because I am an author with 10 other authors and we wrote a book called Stepping Up and Stepping Out. How do you show up? And today our guest, her name is Sasha Shereen and she's going to be talking about her chapter and and just letting us know a little bit about her. So I want you to give a warm welcome to Sasha Serene. All right, Sasha, thank you so much for being here with us. Hi, Linda, thank you for having me Oh, too. I really appreciate it. I, I appreciate you too, because I didn't expect this. And um, when I found out about it, I was really happy and surprised um, to be part of this world. Um, and I think I was telling you earlier that I've only done this one other time. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's great to start being out there and putting my story out there. Um, because a, a lot of the times I feel like the, the people that know me know my story, but then as I get to know more people and they find out about my story, it catches them by surprise of where I've come from and how far I've come. And within the chapter, it kind of explains all of that, too. Got you. Yeah. So tell us just a little bit about your background. Um, so I am from Los Angeles, <clears throat> born and raised. And um, I've moved around and ended up here, um, which I like, it, which is a Johnson County, Kansas City metro area. It's yeah. easier to say Kansas City because people exactly. know that on the map more than Overland Park. Mm -hmm. um, and I ended up here after a, a divorce. Um, so uh, I was here prior to the divorce. And then five years later, I just decided to stay here. Yeah. Um, and, and I like it. It's a happy medium of suburbs and city. Yeah. I love it here. I do. I yes. really like it here, too. Yeah. You're in the right place. Yes. At the right time. Right. It's all about divine timing. It's. I was reading something yesterday um, that said you are where you're meant to be no matter where you are um, because it's always trying to teach you something. Like Life is just always teaching you something. And yes. um, this morning I told myself that, um, that the universe is rigged in my favor. <laughs> It's a belief that I'm going to start to instill in myself mm -hmm. and that everything aligns for a higher and greater good. Um, mm -hmm. Even if it's a low, there's going to be a lesson. Right. To learn. So why did you decide to write your chapter in our book? Um, so stepping up and stepping out is something that I did in my marriage. Um, so I was married for 10 years. I got married at a very young age, uh, at the age of 19. And, um, I didn't know what I was getting myself into, nor was I prepared. Uh, and I wasn't an angel. Um, and as the relationship kept going, I wondered why there were, uh, sometimes some situations of violence or, um, animosity or, um, just anger. Um, and a year after an, into our relationship, uh, things got worse. Um, and that's because I, again, I wasn't, I wasn't an angel. I wasn't the, the perfect person. And, um, as years went by, I realized that it wasn't a life to live. Um, so there was a lot of, uh, uh domestic violence. There was, uh, emotional abuse. There was physical abuse. There was uh, financial abuse, all of that. Um, that happened and uh, one day I just decided not to live like that. Um, I just didn't think that that was a, a life to live. Um, and in the chapter I do write about a time where I just wanted it to all stop. Um, and uh, it was, we were going down a, a, a street and there was alcohol involved, there was yelling involved, there was violence involved, and I remember opening the door wanting to jump out because I just didn't want to live anymore. Um, and it, it was a interesting space to come to that realization uh, because um, I, I, I don't know, I just, just didn't want to, to be in that anymore. So, you know, that's a little bit about my chapter and stepping out of that is that realization was that um, really seeing what I was doing within myself that was attracting that. Um, because I, I, 
truly believe that's what ha what's happening around us is because there's something that's going on with us that's attracting that, whether good or bad. Um, and that's when I started to realize, hey, I got I got to step out of this. I got to get out of that relationship. And so I did. It was hard, but I did. Yeah. Yeah. I can totally understand where you came from, that stepping out of a relationship, because I've been there, done that. Yeah. So I can relate to what you went through, and I admire you and how you just blossom. See the Thank word you. blossom? Blossom. You really blossom, Ooh. and I just loved your energy. And so yes. thankful for yeah. being a co-author with you and yeah, building yeah. a friendship. Yeah. And just looking forward to amazing things happening for the both of us. Yeah. So yeah. speaking of amazing things happening for us, what are your goals in life? Oh, ooh, that's a big one. Um, so, um, one of my goals, and I think it would never stop, is um, to become more aware of myself. Um, and a few months ago, I asked someone, is there a time where we're fully aware? And she said no, and I got mad. <laughs> I was upset. Well, why am I doing all this inner work if I'm never going to be fully aware of myself? You know, like this is BS. This is bullshit. Can we say bullshit? Oops, bleep that out. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I was so mad. But I think that's one of my goals in life is just just to continue being so aware of my actions. Um, and why I do what I do and what got me upset instead of pointing a finger at somebody else um, because then that's me deflecting onto them. So that's one of my, my life goals. Okay. Um, another one is I just launched my, my company called Serene International and my vision is having Serene International adopt the modality of the company Virgin. Um, so Richard Branson created Virgin because he is the first to do things and um, there are 49 different companies under his, his, his name, his brand. And so Serene International um, will be that, but in the space of holistic healing, of, of things like this, of having full-blown hardcore conversations eye to eye and bringing the, the the awareness to other people, um, bringing meditation to people and what it does for, for them, bringing dance, uh, bringing yoga, bringing breath work, and um, helping people see that it's not, oh, I'm going to sit here and with my legs crossed and meditate and want my brain to shut off. It's more of a, okay, I know my brain cannot shut off what are the feelings and thoughts that are running through me and how can I be more aware to change that, right? Um, and so I believe that bringing that to the world would, would help a lot, um, especially after the pandemic and the society that we live in, I think everyone's searching for something outside of themselves when they can mm -hmm. definitely find it within themselves. So Serene International is one of my life goals uh, to have. Um, and we'll see where, where it goes. And, um, and I take it personal. You know, people say, don't take business personal, right? Oh, it's just business. Don't take it personal. Um, but for me, my business is personal because I'm adopting what I believe to be, um, good and, and, and bring that out to other people. And I've, I've created a business for that. So it, it, it is personal for me and it's my baby. And so that's yes. what I, I looked for, um, for, for me to do. Um, just kind of like what you're doing, you know, your, yeah. your real deal network, it's, it's, it's throwing out there into the community on what is a real deal, right? I truly believe that this is a real deal because you asked me to come on to you, right? <laughs> this is just fully authentic. And, and I believe people should be authentic and who cares yes. about anything else um, because exactly. that's, that's what it is, you know? It's, it's, it's the real deal. Exactly. Um, and so that's, that's kind of where I am and, and we'll see where it unfolds from there. Love it. <laughs> see, she keeps it real. Okay, tell the audience, how can they connect with you? Um, so my legal name is Sasha Sparza. 
Um, so you'll find me out there under Esparza if I haven't switched it to Sasha Serene, but I've done my best to um, switch everything to Sasha, Sasha Serene because that's my chosen name. Um, I decided to adopt Serenity um, because that is knowing what I can change and coming to peace to the things that I cannot change and hopefully finding out the wisdom of what I can and cannot change. Um, so uh, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. I don't have a Twitter, um, but you know, I guess I'll get there. Um, and I do have my website, sashaserene.com as well, if you guys want to shoot me a message. That's wonderful, thank you. Yeah. So feel free to connect with Sasha. Yeah. So in conclusion, Sasha, tell us, leave the audience with some encouraging, uplifting words to overcome challenges or maybe some, some type of wisdom for your, for your audience? Um, well, what I found out about going through the story that I went through is um, your body knows what you need. Your body knows when it needs out, your body knows when it needs in, your body knows when it needs nutrition um, or when it needs a walk in the park. So follow your gut instinct uh, because your gut is your second brain. A lot of the times we want to rationalize what it is that we need to be doing and then always end up going to the negative side of things. But our gut is telling us, hey, we should open that business or hey, we should call that one person and tell them we love them and we miss them. And then we say no because we end up having this rationalization on, I don't know, maybe what they did to us or or maybe something can't be fixed or whatever. But um, when we come from the heart and when we have when we have our heart speak to our mind, that's when when it's just flowing and that's when when you know that that's you. Um, so follow your heart, be the best you because the world deserves to see you. Well, thank you so much. Oh. Thank you, I can't so hug you, yes. thank you so much. Yes. I love that. <laughs> right? Air hug. I know. Thank you so very right? much. Thanks, Linda. Yes. Amazing. <clears throat> Sasha it was keeping it real. So feel free to reach out to Sasha. And I just want to say thank you so much for joining Linda's Real Deal Talk Show. Stay tuned because we will have more episodes coming up. We will be interviewing other authors from Stepping Up and Stepping Out. Feel free to purchase the book on Amazon, Stepping Up, Stepping Out. How do you show up? And in the meantime, I'm looking forward to seeing you again. But my words of encouragement is for you is to keep it real. <laughs>